Hey, what's going on guys? It's Russell here. We are doing Berry today. Now, I'll start off by saying I do not know how or why, but Buried is just my favorite Black Ops 2 map. Um, and it's my favorite, my second favorite map overall after Call of the Dead. Now, I can't, I really cannot explain why, why that is, honestly. It's probably just the whole setting, maybe, the whole theme. I like that they, uh, they really made the new four, the uh, N4 characters, made them really feel like actual characters um, with character development. And unfortunately, it's a bit sad that, like, it was the last map, and that's all they, where they got all the character development from. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit it's a bit annoying, but, um, no, I still love it. Uh, I really love the Paralyzer. Probably, me, probably my favourite uh, Wonder Weapon, because I just love how you can fly with it. Um, the fact that it actually is affecting, like, the physics of the game. It, I just think that's really cool. Um... And I do know Buried is probably the easiest zombies map ever, uh, even easier than Ascension. Uh, and I think that's why people don't like it, because it, it can get boring, and I do understand that, like, because, you know, you get the Paralyzer, Raygun Mark II, uh, you sit in the by Juggernaug with, like, Trample Steam, all those buildables, SVU, you can just easily survive. Um, but, you know, I, I try to make things a bit uh, challenging, make, swap things up a little. Um, but yeah. Alright. I can't even remember what the list that is. I think it's 2,000 to buy. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll go for it now, I reckon. Alright. So yeah, I... The characters, I just, they really developed in this one, and uh, the intro cutscene uh, really revealed a lot. And uh, it's just a shame it, yeah, they weren't developed. Um, chalk drawings, I thought that's a pretty cool, unique concept because it kept the idea of uh, war weapons and chalk and all that, but it actually it expanded on it and gave you a choice of where you would like certain weapons to be, which I think is really, really cool. Um, Buried also has my favorite, one of my favorite Easter eggs, so it's always running. I think it's really haunting and powerful and it's just beautiful and I, I really do like it um, what else what else what else Voltrade Voltrade I I don't hate it I think it's a lot better than uh, um, what is it who's who in tombstone uh, electric cherry I think is probably the best perk uh, I think that could be used in like every single map but uh, nah like I, I do like Voltrade it's probably a bit too OP on this map I would have liked to see it on a different map that maybe wasn't so easy already. But uh, it's like you take all these elements for buried, you put something easy, some plus something easy, plus something easy, plus something easy, and you get like something that is super easy. Um, so yeah, that's why you know just all those elements put together basically. Um, fuck, what else? The uh, fucking ghosts. So those are pretty interesting. I, I do like the idea behind them. Um, point stealers. You know, I, I think after Black, Black Ops 1 ended, I, I was thinking like, oh, you know, it'd be really interesting to have a boss enemy that like ran up to you and stole your points. Now, I wasn't imagining it as a ghost. I was more imagining it something like the Pentagon Thief. Uh, it's just like one enemy and he runs up to each player. Actually, I wasn't thinking of him uh, taking your points away. I was thinking he'd actually swap them around and like screw you up or whatever. Or he'd like swap your numbers around. So you see I've got like 2150. He could like jumble them around and put the zero first if he wanted. But you could also have like the one first or the five first. So uh, that's probably not a good idea for a boss because that'd be a bit too easy. But um, yeah. Uh, big guy, big guy, big guy. So the big guy is basically the uh, hacker from Moon. Except, you know, he's a person. And uh, it's not, it's, that's not bad. But I just felt... Because the way they advertised it in the uh, trailer, the uh, Annihilation trailer, it was like, oh, you have to decide whether he's a friend or a foe. The only way he can hurt you is when the you give him the beer bottle, the, uh, the alcohol, and he's just like sprinting. That's the only time he can hurt you. Other than that, he can't hurt you and he's your friend, basically. Um, so that was a bit misleading. Uh, 
So I would have liked to have seen more uh, bad things come from him, but whatever. Um, I do like uh, some of the extra choices you give him with him though, like by giving him candy. Candy makes him do a lot of things. Uh, that's basically the functioning hacker part. Ooh, how about nice. Um, but like I said, he's a bit too OP and you can like access any area with the paralyzer, but you can also just, uh, oh, no, nah, I'll keep that. You know, he, he, instead of like putting doors in, they put these bundles of, uh, rubble in and all that just so he can clear them. So he's, he's not necessary, but it, it really does open up a lot if you use him. Um, but yeah, fuck, what was I going to say? I know, uh, I wish, I think if the big guy wasn't here, he, I think he's the biggest the thing that makes everything so easy. Plus you also get points for when he like demolishes oh. something. Oh, oh fuck. Come on. Alright. Oh, what does that? Max ammo. I didn't even... No, I killed something over there. Insta kill, nuke, okay. Just all at once. See, I'm already up to like round 5, probably round 6 now. And we're like so, doing so good already. Um, the fucking buildable house. They put all the buildables in here. And it's kind of like, I don't know. It kind of defeats the purpose of finding them. Because that was the whole like exploration aspect of them. You meant to go and find these buildables. That's not the problem I, I ever had with them. The problem was is that you had to keep like swapping them out. You could only carry one piece at a time. And Mob of the Dead did this great, so I have no idea why they brought that the uh, the previous system before Mob of the Dead back into this one you can only carry one at a time. Like, legitimately, it's more easier just to give the guy candy next to a buildable station. He'll be able to carry all like pieces at once. It is really, really silly, honestly. Um... And you know, having them all in one house, you know, you're not exploring anymore. It's just like, oh hey, let's just open up this building and grab everything from in there. Uh, turbine. Why the fuck is the turbine in this map? You can't turn the power off, so there is really no point to it. Um, getting to the power is the easiest thing as well. So, you know, there's really no reason to not have the power on and using the turbine. Uh, the uh, it's only use I think is to uh for the uh what is it the um sub subsurface resonator that's what it's called it literally the only point but uh you know and it, uh, it is powerful but it does break and it gets annoying trying to find both of those so honestly it's probably just best to uh just use the trample seam and the head chopper. Head chopper doesn't do infinite damage, but it does uh, deal a good bit. Trample seam is one shot, so uh, I'd rather just use that than going through the hassle of doing the subsurface resonator and the uh, fuck, what's it called? The uh, turbine. Uh, should probably. Oh, there's also oh fuck. Also another problem. Fuck 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 go. Also another problem, it, it won't happen in this game, but it does happen in like online games. Perma perks. Now this happens in all tra the transit, die rise, buried. But it's more so very easy on this map. Perma perks. The perma perk persistent upgrade. You go down on this map, uh, you can easily, like you'll have juggernaug still basically. Only like if you've got quick revive, oh fuck. First time I've gone down in a while. I should probably get jug. Um, Hopefully I don't die, that'd be embarrassing actually. But you know, if you go down, you know, if I had Juggernaut, I would probably have it if I was playing online. But I'm not, so yeah. But I don't know, I just find it really, it, it just makes it way too easy. Alright, so let's uh, fucking... It's got alcohol in there? Yeah, it does. Need to open up. Fucking Jog. Jug. Not jog. Come on, hurry up. Oh, don't fuck it. These pathing is so fucking screwed up, especially in that area. Oh. 
He's not gonna hit it. I think I did it the wrong angle, so he's about to miss it. Oh no, he got it. There we go. And he gets more points the further away you do it. So really, it is very easy to get points on this map. And it doesn't help that the bank, you just need 750 points right off the bat. And you've got it basically. Literally no challenge at all. <sighs> Alright, we'll uh... Fuck, fuck, fuck. Up here. Down here. This is probably the most OP spot in zombies for camping. You can really just stand here with all your fucking trample steam and all that jazz and so easy to uh just camp here. And the, the fact is, is there's like no boss rounds, so it doesn't really like cut down the time of rounds. You know, you're always like fighting a wave of zombies, so right. come on. I think I turned power on. I know I opened up the doors up there. Carpenter, nice. Oh fuck. Alright, yeah. Now let's go down quickly. Come on. So fucking slow. Because I got these weapons. Um I love the idea of like the gunsmith. How you find all the chalk drawings in there. Which is pretty cool. But uh, I just think it's kinda way too OP to be finding those weapons. Like right at the start. I think maybe the chalk drawings could have been at the end. I don't want to get trapped in here actually because I have to reload and I'm not going to reload in time. Um, one of the, Another thing that makes things a bit OP, using the key to keep the box in place. I mean it's a cool idea, but okay with Buried, I don't, I think, and I think this is why, it could be for a completely different reason. But with Buried, you have a high chance of getting the Raygun Mark II. Now, that could be because, you know, you it was introduced with this map pack. But I think it's because there aren't as many weapons in this one. I can't remember what's missing or what's different. Um, but, yeah, just something to point out. Um, you do tend to get the Raygun Mark II a lot more than any other map. Uh, but yeah, it, you, keeping the box in place and keep keep like purchasing it is just way too OP. Oh uh, fuck, what are we gonna do? I want to get Vulture Raid, but I have to use the beer again. I don't really want to, so I will do this. I'll just go to the courthouse, get speed. One thing I did like though is it's not really like kind of a circular map, like. A map you can't keep going in circles in. So what they did, it's basically just like kind of one long path of a map. And you can go back through the mansion. But ultimately, if you go through the fountain in the maze, once it's like activated, you teleport back to the start, which I do think is a little cool. Um, it differs things up a bit instead of just going around in a whole circle again. But yeah. Oh shit. Why am I going this way? Fuck me. We're trapped. No, we're not. Yes, we are. I keep thinking that's a window behind me. We're about to swap. Go. Fuck, I forgot there's a window there as well. Jeez, uh, we're wasting all our uh, LMG ammo. What other weapon can we get? Oh, perk, I mean. We could get Mule Kick, but I'll, uh, I'll swap out the Lissat, and then we'll uh, try... I, uh, yeah, I've got to get the big guy to open shit up. I don't want that. I mean, I do like snipers, <coughs> especially in this map, but uh, fucking RPG. <coughs> fucking Raygun, that's what I wanted to talk about. Raygun Mark II. I think it's really cool they did that. And I can see them doing a Mark III for Black Ops 3. <coughs> Maybe not in Shadows of Evil, but I can see them introducing it in DLC. We get the big dude. But yeah, I do like how it's a bit different, how it's like kind of a SMG, or it, kind of like an actual laser pistol, really. Um, what I would like to see, though, is uh, 
a like not a triple burst one, a machine gun, a constant laser burst uh, ray gun, kind of, and it, and it would have a uh, ammo count like the paralyzer or the flamethrower, something like that where you can like it's just a continuous stream, but it wouldn't really be that powerful. Uh, it would actually be pretty weak uh, in burst, but if you did a continuous stream. You're doing constant damage on the zombies and uh yeah but because you know it would eventually uh what's the word i can't think of it oh geez just leap up there overburn uh, i don't know it would just overheat overheat that's the word where the fuck's the last zombie i don't want to use the nuke yet oh come on fuck it i'll just grab it hit the box again it'll probably move but uh yeah um the easter egg uh easter egg i kind of like the aspects of it but that shooting step is fucked up way too hard noise ray gun i wanted the mark ii though uh last last chance i can get the mark ii is either in this map or origins i would like to get it or in grief i could get it there but i probably won't but uh i would like to get it at least because we've had the ray gun a couple of times. Also, it's different in this map. Like the colour, if anyone has noticed. I don't know if, I think that's for story reasons, but I don't think it's really explained. Like it's got that green barrel instead of the uh, blue it usually has. All right, let's, uh, fuck, I need to get some beer. I don't want to stay in this area too long. Let's go through to the mansion, get some pack-a-punch. Uh, where is it, where is it? I oh, was back in the jail cell again. Jesus Christ! All right, all right. Here we go. So the thing is, why would you buy the M16 or this pistol when you can just get in there and like get a AN94 or the PDW or the SVU? Like, there's really no point to it, honestly. Uh, okay, got this. <clears throat> One thing I do like about this map that the other maps don't have is that the pack punch is at the end of a place. It's not a moving location, it's just a fixed place. Which is kind of like the old maps, which I do uh, think is pretty good. I've got to wait for the big, big guy to come. Jesus. Hurry up. I could open that and get that girl the knuckles, but uh, nah. Go through the mansion, I reckon. Can't go that way, we've got to go through this way now. We should keep running if you knife him, I don't want to have to keep turning around to do it. And I have to remember that the, uh, the fountain isn't activated. Oh, come on! Fucking go with it. Oh shit! I don't have quick revive, I don't have quick revive. Okay, okay. Good, good, we're doing good, we're doing good. Now get away from there. This is actually a nice training area in here. Uh, because it doesn't look like it, but you can actually walk in those bushes and stuff. Um, it is a bit hard to do because, you know, obviously... You know, you're going in there and uh, you can't see when the zombies come, but... It's just interesting. Oh, God. Oh, that's right. All the, the ghosts spawn out of the zombies' bodies. I was like, why the hell are they coming from there? They never come from there. Alright, that should be most of them. Go. Oh, shit. Go, 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 go. Jeez, it takes two to hit them. I don't know if their health uh, is always increasing or not. I know, I think you can one-shot them with Galva Knuckles, but I'm not sure. I do love the idea that there's this, you have to wait for the bookcase to open, like it's a secret passage. Um, I would love to have seen more, like, kind of story hints in this mansion. I think the only thing you can really uh, get from this map and the and the mansion is the uh, fucking portrait of Daniel Faraday, I think his name is. But yeah, uh, fuck, I was going to talk about the maze, but we'll talk about the uh, fucking time bomb quickly. Um, time bomb. I do like the idea behind it, but I, again, I think it makes things a bit too easy. Um, and you can use it to like abuse, like getting this. 
So like if you put the time bomb down and then you, I think you activate it while this perks up and perks don't disappear when you go back in time. So it'll still be there apparently. I, I'm not apparently, I know it's, but I just haven't played this map in a while. So I can't remember. I should probably get out of here actually. Why am I waiting? Um, fuck. I don't know what the right way is. Door. Nope. Okay. Exit's there. So we've got to go around this way. Oh shit, that door's... Fuck me. Nope, fuck, fuck, what am I doing, what am I doing? I'm gonna go down. I should've got quicker by, fuck me. Okay, okay, we can do this, we can do this. Still, they're not a big horde yet, so it's alright. Okay, we're out in the open now. Okay, here we go. Fuck. What? Okay, so the exit's clearly not that way then. So the exit has to be on the other side. Damn it. So we gotta go the, not that way. Gotta go this way then. Shit. Um, it shouldn't be this. No. Gotta go the, back the long way. I guess. I think it'd be good if not it, because I've pretty much memorized the layout of the of the maze now. And it's a cool idea, but I just wish that like the maze is like lanes changed itself, not the doors. Or actually, I would like it if there were more doors uh, instead of just these simple ones. Like this, I reckon there should be more, so uh, unless like hedge walls, so the its layout changes drastically each time. Oh, fuck. Um, back up on the sat. I mean hammer, whatever it's called. Slog hammer. Is that what it is? Oh no, it's Sledgehammer, not Sloghammer. Jesus Christ. I'm an idiot. Um, come on. Run down ammo on this. So I'll have to pack a punch it. There we go. Alright, we got uh, that. So we'll head back near. Alright, nice. Porter's X2 ray gun. I wonder if they'll. Uh, I mean, I'm really interested to see what the ray gun's uh, texture will look like in Black Ops 3. Because I think that's the gun where you can see the most textures of. Because it's in every map. Fuck, where am I going this way? It's in every map. So you can, uh, you know, check the texture on each. And it's so cool seeing, like, all of them side by side. But yeah, I can't wait to see what it looks like, I think. Shadows of Evil will have a different texture, I imagine, to the giant. Wait, didn't I just come this way? Oh no, that's the last lane there. Don't go down there because I didn't activate it. Yeah, didn't activate it. Well, uh, we'll just stand by here for now. I do love the whole... One aspect of this map I do love. I just love how it's all underground. It is really cool and you've got these bits of uh, holes in the roof. If you ever like no clip around, uh, there's like a glitch in theater mode where you can like... Oh fuck. It's like a glitch you can like access like get out of the map boundaries and shit. It's really cool to explore um, and I did it for my uh, buried World of War style video but uh, you know going above ground and stuff you can really see how like they made oh fuck that was weird like glitched out so uh, what's the thing here I've never actually done it before but if you get the ballistic knife I think it is or you play the piano or something you um, can see a ghost here, and if you give it like 10 points in this box up there, you get like a free perk or something like that, <coughs> which I think is really cool. Um, okay, what's over here? I think it's the uh, nav card, that's right. Nav card's there for no reason. The nav card bullshit was weird, and there was really no reason for it. They could have easily done without the nav cards, because the only thing it ever did was link the towers together for the end game. But you didn't even need that. You could have just like had it so like once you if all three all three are done, you could just activate it anyway. Really stupid. Um, fuck. Let's go down here. I guess this is weird. The lighting is like glitched in this area. Where's the ghost? Oh, there. You like jump up high, and it's like the sunlight from when you're above ground. And like the the mustn't have put the lighting properly. I reckon. Um, alright, since we're back here, I'm only doing this um, 
Fuck me. Jesus Christ, what am, I don't know what was going on. I was deciding where to go. I just like, what the fuck is going on? I didn't. I knew the zombies were spawning, but I didn't think they'd all spawn that quickly. Shit. Um, well, that's probably like the lowest I've gone down and buried, actually. But yeah, guys, uh, we're going to do Origins tomorrow, uh, which is pretty exciting. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to go on that. Uh, it's a hard map, but it can be overcome. So yeah, I will see you guys later. Cheers.